What's going on everyone? Chuck here and I hope that you are having an awesome day today. As you can tell, I'm about to throw some poo-poo on my lawn. And no, it's not that blueberry scent of success, Morganite is manure. And so you're probably wondering, why am I throwing manure on my lawn? The answer to that question is actually quite simple. Uh, up here, uh, now I'm at the far, if you're looking at my house, the far left corner where the mums are, the fence, it is, um, this area struggles with moss, and I actually talk about that in a couple other videos, most recently my making my flower beds nicey nice where I plant the mums. But this area struggles with moss. Just a little bit, just a little bit of moss right there. Don't know how well you can see that, but anyway. Um, and so I read, you know, on the internet, because the internet don't lie, you know, why uh, is moss growing on my soil? And it could be that it's overly shaded, uh, poor water drainage. Um, compacted soil and high acidity in your soil. And so this area does get a little more shade than the rest of the yard, but not by much. It has struggled with water drainage in the past, but put, extending that flower bed out like I did has helped with that. Um, it is compacted. Let's see if you can hear this. This is just a wireless microphone in case you're wondering. And I may have high acidity in my soil. I honestly don't know. You're probably saying, well, why don't you just get a soil test? I am going to do a soil test. Um, I'm going to grab some of the soil before I put down the manure. However, the problem is that no matter what results I get from that soil test, I can't, it's, I'm not going to get it in time to do anything about it now. It's going to be an after I aerate and overseed, which is in just over a week. So uh, I'm going to treat it like a science experiment and just sort of see, because I read that if you do have high acidity in your soil, that putting down some manure, because it is a soil amendment, it can help uh, lower the pH level in your soil. So I'm going to give it a shot. Why not, right? And so I'm going to take this cultivator. I did this yesterday and broke up some areas, but I'm going to do it again in a few other areas. Um, break up the soil, put down some top soil, or sorry, put down some manure, rake it in, level it with this one. And if I get any rocks or stones or anything, I'll use this rake. But anyway, enough of me talking about it. It's time to get to work. finished. It is about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch deep. Uh, there might be a few lumps that are a little bit deeper than that, but for the most part, uh, I had five bags of that black cow, and so I should probably just go get more, but I didn't know how far five bags would get me. But these are those hard rocky areas I was telling you about that you can see in some of my older YouTube videos. Um, so I broke those up again put some of the black cow down. I'm actually sort of claiming from where their fence ends right there. So that that whole area down is now gonna be my grass I'm gonna deal with. So that way I can sort of take over that area and clean it up. But anyway, uh, so yeah, it is all done. Now, I will say that manure and that gorilla cart back there. Did I tell you guys how much I paid for that gorilla cart? No, no. Wrong again, 40 bucks on the Facebook Marketplace for that. It's a smaller one, but still, 40 bucks for a gorilla cart, I'll take it. Anyway, um, I will say that that manure does have some fertilizer in it. It's a 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Uh, ideally, I don't want any fertilizer in it. I mean, manure, because it is organic matter and compost and all that kind of stuff, there is gonna be some fertilizer in it anyway. Um, so I'll get a little bit of a green up to the existing grass. It will help out the existing grass. I think it actually helps the soil a little bit more to have a little bit of fertilizer in it. I honestly don't know. So it's not ideal because I'm gonna be coming back here with starter fertilizer here in less than, or I'm sorry, just over a week. So, you know, it is what it is. In all honesty, I should probably put some manure on this, the strip a little bit, just in a few of the areas that are the most damaged by the grub worms. But I think I'm gonna wait 
until this weekend when I do another application of the Bio Advanced Grub Killer um, before I put um, some manure down. But I think this area could benefit from just a little bit more organic matter on top of the humic acid that I'm giving it. That's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, comment, do all that good YouTube-y stuff. Uh, if you want a sticker, please send me an email with an address and I'll get that out to you the next business day. I did recently change my Instagram page to dadingalldayyt. Um, so in case you want to update that for yourself. But yeah, just contact me somehow with an address and I'll get you a dadding all day sticker. But I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one and God bless. Quick break in the action, I want to give a quick shout out to the Lawn Guardian, New Perspective Lawn Care, and the Lawn Tools for sending me some really awesome stickers. You all didn't have to do that. Uh, when, I, when I reached out to you all, or you all reached out to me uh, asking for a sticker, it wasn't something that's like, hey, I'll send you a sticker if you send me a sticker. It really is just a way for me to reach out to you all and say thank you for watching my videos. And it really meant a lot that you guys gave me some stickers. But what me it meant even more is that you guys took the time to write me some really awesome messages of encouragement, you know, keep up the great work, I love your videos, those kind of things. Uh, it was really, really awesome of you. You didn't have to do that. It made me feel bad because I didn't send you guys a note with my stickers, but I really do appreciate these really kind words. It, it, it really did, uh, you can ask my wife, it really did mean a lot to me that you all took the time to, to write these messages to me. So thank you guys so much for the stickers and for the kind notes. Side note, you know, I have neighbors that have probably never seen anything like this with filming and all that kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm just curious, like when they go out and they're on their runs or they're driving around or walks or whatever, if they just look at me and say, what the heck is going on?